everybody, this is me, Sam, and sorry I've been a little bit MIA recently. I actually kind of been kind of busy at work. That, because we had back to school a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, and then three weeks ago? Beginning of September. And then last week, I actually had my birthday. I turned 26, and I um, got a... I had gotten a birthday gift, which I'm actually going to review on. I got a Keurig, um, a Keurig Mini, to, you know, be precise. And I am going to review that in one of my next videos. I actually have several li um, videos lined up for you. I have an iPod review, because I got an iPod a couple months ago. I've got Keurig, and I've got another Acme video, Acme video. I can't talk today. I have another acne video coming up, which I know you guys can see this fudge right here. <laughs> you know, it happens. But, um, and then I have another Walmart box coming. I've been billed, but as of right now, I don't think it's been mailed because I haven't gotten a, um, a tracking code, which I know some of you guys have them. I saw a video uploaded day or two ago about it um but what happened was the reason why i haven't gotten mine yet is because my i lost my last debit card and so i had to replace it and it took about a week to get it and so i got it it's been charged it's coming at some point probably next month um so until then i, I do have some videos so it's gonna be a keurig acne coffee for the Keurig. I don't know if I'm going to do just one big video or two small videos. I don't know. Tell me. Um, but so enough of that rambling. Today I'm going to do a try the world box. And this is the French box. And so we'll go ahead and take off the video. Thing. And so you basically have this, and then they send you like different things. Like, what can I find in my Paris box? So, this is the French one, so Paris, France, and then it has all the stuff that's in there, and then they have like the culture guide it has like recipes and how to you know make breakfast and different things you can do and then I've already gotten into one thing oops but that that was on Tuesday I got this box on this past Tuesday and I kind of had drinks and I kind of broke my phone and then I got into these um but anyway let's go on our look at our box shall we so the first thing it's saying is plus de I, I don't speak french i did go to uh montreal you guys saw my um video down below um before if you guys are new to my channel go check out the montreal to hotel tour so um i i, I mean i could probably easily speak it but um you know so it is the first one is tea which would be um this and it says plus du tea's grow from a passion for tea shared by two tea lovers the company's founder francois xavier delmas who has been traveling for decades to find the world's finest tea and aroma expert Kareen Badre, who creates refined tea blends. Indulge in one of these aromatic teas at breakfast or in the afternoon. So this is what the box looks like. Let me get it open. Oh, there you go. I can't really swing anything. I don't really want to open it just in case it's loose. And if it is loose, I might actually wait and try it with my Keurig because it...
So this one is um, it's an Imperial Finance Guide. It's from Japan. And what it looks like. And then this one is... Okay, so, oh, okay, I just realized this one. This one you brew for about 10 minutes at a 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. It says right here. This one is the Turkish kind. It's a green tea. And you can try it. It's a Turkish recipe, and it, you can do it hot or cold. For three minutes at 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 75. And then this last one. Is 205 degrees Fahrenheit. You seep for three minutes. 95 degrees Celsius. And this is a Tibetan flavor. It's a rare blend with the new unique flowery flavor so this is it right here and so that is basically what the first thing was i personally am not a tea drinker i, I mean there's one kind of tea i do like um but i there's one it's like a caramel flavor go figure i like caramel anything with caramel um and then the La Pros, it's some kind of cookie, is the next one, which I, at least the ones that I ate. And they're basically like a biscuit, I guess, is the best way I can describe it. And it says, since 1888, this woman has been baking the signature French cookies using rich butter from Brittany. Uh, Mrs. Pollard what became the famous in Mont St. Michael by feeding pilgrims who were on their way to the medieval cathedral on the island. So that was this. And it had four inside of it, which was actually really cool. And then Charles Antonia Jam, which was this one. And I think I have another one in here. Okay, so it's this, and it's fake, and so it says, on the close to his 25 acres of family-owned land in Corsa, Corsaca, Charles Antonio grew up the fruit of his preserves with the help of local farmers and artisans. In keeping with his grandmother's original recipes, Antona combines his fruit with his med with Mediterranean herbs to make this delicious, flavorful spread. So, this is it. It's fig. It's like over nine, maybe nine ounces. It's 55% fruit. So, it's fig, cane sugar, syrup, lemon juice. The normal stuff. Which... Uh, according to the French culture guide, you can put it on, like, bread, certain kinds of bread and whatnot. And then, Hennef, Hennef, um, it says he, in 1907, John Hennef began keening vegetables to help farmers easily distribute the produce. Soon after, he developed his signature recipe for more quality pastes made with hybrid pork meat and special spice flavor. More than a century later, Hennef continues to be a leader in French poetry. And I know I'm totally butchering this, butchering this but um, the ingredients in this is pork, pork livers, onion, sodium, modified stuff, cornstarch. So, it's basically this. I don't want to taste it because I, I, 
at the moment because I am afraid that it it's a bug. Go away. Um I don't wanna have to put this in the fridge because I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be refrigerated when it's been opened. That's that's it. Um like I was a little bit shocked on how like heavy this was. And then Manson de Amore caramels. This recipe for those who for these delicious chewy caramels made with butter and salt from Brittany was born in the summer of nineteen forty six when the celebrated French celebrated peace. And they celebrated peace and they returned to Brittany at the end of World War Two. So it actually comes in a really cute like wooden box and I would like to see inside of this. Uh, this is really hard to open. Okay, I have to break the label, but this, oh, really? I have to break it on this side too, hold on. Okay, so it has about five of them in here. And like and they're quite soft so they look really nice and then it says um it's mustard mustard produced in france dates back to the roman empire now in the city of dijon the mustard of mustard capital france demandi Finns used quality mustard seeds in vinegar distilled from Bordenox and Chardonnay wines to use this rich, tangy mustard. It's enjoyed in just enjoy it and spread into sandwiches or glazed over meats. And it's basically this one. So I I don't actually it it's and it's whole grain too. I I'm not the biggest fan of mustard. Really? I might actually my friend has a birthday coming up next month, so I what I might do is put this as like not open at all. That because it's kinda nasty to give like used food to people. But I'm thinking about taking this and like gifting it to her because she likes mustard. So we shall see. And then it's a mystery treat. So the mystery treat these little guys. And it's sauce. Man, it tray sauce. I mean, any of you guys get this? Um, you got two of them, and you tear it. You heat it for like ten seconds. You remove it, and you pour. They're not meat, but I don't know what kind of sauce this is. Holy crap. Can anyone tell me? Have any of you guys gotten this? Um, I don't know. I have to actually, I, I, do, I do have one friend who speaks French, so maybe he can help me. So, anyway, I shall chat at you all later, and I will go, will go and continue to make more videos. See you guys later. Bye.